Fiddler Gabdi, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. On the UK map, we're down here at Brighton, it is episode 50, so that means it's going to be a Back to the Future drive-by episode, and we're going to skip 10 years again, well actually we're only going to skip 9, because I actually skipped to 1891, and the last one, because the Cannstatt became available, and I didn't think I'd be able to suffer playing another... 10 episodes with the, the horse and wagon, so they bit the dust, unfortunately. But yeah, we will lay it through. So we, again, will set this to times 2, I think. And then we'll push play, and we'll jump on this one to start with, because it's in the station. I actually had to go back and look, so this we'll have a quick look at this here. It is a reversed number. The London, Brighton, South Coast Railway, Southern Main Line. Yep, I did have to go through the episodes and uh, try and remember and figure out the lines I actually created so that we could jump on board he, uh, <laughs> with the new lines. So, first drive-by. Uh, so I do believe this obviously hangs a left here. There is a Channel Coast line as well that heads off to the right there. Heads off to the east coast. Now, there are some freight services and stuff in here, so we should see some mixed traffic at some point. So we're heading for Portsmouth. I think it's Portsmouth, Southampton. Somewhere, in, and then Weymouth. There's definitely another stop. There's definitely a four-stop. Uh, train, so there's nothing coming along this line on the right hand side. So the freight is actually on the left. Now we will see the freight trains, maybe, possibly not till about Weymouth, or we may see them if we look to the left. There are a few lines on this, there are 50 passengers, which is a decent number. So this is one of the lines that makes money, so it's good. In the last episode, we did the, the Goods run uh, that went to Manchester. We are getting a wee bit of stutter in here. Which is which? Yeah, it's three times speed because we've got mega, mega stuttering. It seems to be not too bad. They did sort of try and amend the sort of laggy stuttering in the last patch, so well done. It is actually a hell of a lot better than it previously was. This was so bad before, but three times speed is a bit much. Uh, that's normal time speed. That's normal time speed. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Two times speed. Yeah, we'll go two times speed. So. Uh, there is a line that hangs the left, the freight right, freight line is on the left there. There is actually a train, or should be a train somewhere, that carries mail. In fact, there is none, because it starts in Portsmouth and heads out west. Okay, so there is one of the opposite numbers. There's absolutely no one waiting to go to Southampton. Probably because people can just walk there. Portsmouth and, uh, Portsmouth and Southampton seem to be sort of joining together. Because the cities were pretty much rather close to each other. I do love this. I love this uh, this roof model. Right, so now we're heading to Southampton. It should be a little short journey because basically once we get round this corner we're basically in Southampton. Like those smokestacks in the left are probably industrial buildings in Southampton. One would imagine. Now obviously once we get to the other side uh, hopefully we shall have skipped into 1892. There may be some new vehicles, there may not. I have raided the Steam Workshop and TransportFever.net for as many British vehicles as possible. There are some other 
things, planes, and they're obviously not available yet, and ships. Okay, there's a random unmade piece of track here. Okay, note to self, you must add that track to something. Where does that track even go? Is it actually connected to a station? I think it is. There is a through track here. Again, no one wants to go to uh, Weymouth. I think lots of people want to go to Brighton. The people on this platform are magicians, illusionists. Uh, it looks like they're floating, but they're not at, because this is higher up. But the whole, yeah, that's an added piece. There's a random staircase there to nowhere. Love it. That is probably something you would absolutely find in the UK. Yeah, most people go to Brighton because then they can he head to London and then basically go anywhere on the map. Now, once we connect Weymouth up to Exeter, I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say Exeter. Once that is connected up, uh, people might go this direction because then they can jump on the London Southwestern train that heads directly into London. Maybe. So lots of people wanting to go to Brighton. No one sort of wanting to head out further west. Although that's the way of life. Most people head to larger cities, capital cities. Here's this very nice looking bridge. Which I think is great. I'm so glad that the, the bridge mods and stuff. Now I've got a lot of standard brick bridges. I am going to go around them and create sort of new ones. So, I mean we added some pretty weird bridges in France. I might jump on the France and or say since it's got a faster train. Uh, we added the suspension bridge up in Inverness. Uh, I did see Northern Gamer put up the other day uh, the suspension bridge. He made like a version of the Humber Bridge, which was pretty cool. Uh, there is also a mod for like toll roads. So it's it basically has to act as like a bus stop and it's a, basically like a, a border toll booth. So you could have that at one side of the bridge and that would act as like the toll booths for actually crossing the bridge. So passenger numbers are diminishing again as we head towards Weymouth. Once we get to Weymouth, it shall be the end of the line. I think we've passed every train, which is pretty decent. I think I think there's maybe one more. But it would mean these are sort of spaced out well, really. We'll see. I mean, there's no other traffic on this line to sort of hold one back and space it out from the one in front or hold one up so the one behind it catches up. Autosave. I really should remove autosave while doing the back to the future drive by because we're not building anything and there's less chance of the game crashing. Touch wood. So, this is nice though. Now, I'm not sure how far Weymouth is. To the left, over there, is a freight line that carries mail. And I was kind of hoping we would see it. You can see it. You can see it now on the left. There's no train there, unfortunately. It does head through that sort of valley area behind those houses. There's another station on the left, a freight station. And then there is the tunnel section uh, for the freight line that heads right out. There's another freight station just in case. If we bring goods in from the north, we'll take them into this freight station. That's why the bypass tracks are here as well, so that uh, passenger trains can just cruise straight through. 
There we go, though. Final destination approaching. Weymouth. <coughs> now it looks like it's heading into platform one. Through the junction. Ended up, started off with like 50 passengers. Ended up with like 17 at the other side. There's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Only fifteen want to head back the opposite way. Now push a skippy. And we've got some new stuff. Push pause. We're into eighteen ninety two. We've got the Great Britain. London Northwestern Railways. Great Britain. One does eighty. The Queen Empress. Another London Southwestern Railways. Awesome. So we've got some new stuff. Right. Yep, eventually this line here will carry out. Carry on, even. Maybe go out to Western Supermare. Nah. Just have it go to XR. Yes. We could maybe curve it round. And go up to Yeovil. That's definitely a thing. But yep, is there a depot here? No. So where did you come from? Where did I... I think I launched you from there originally but yep this is the freight line that runs alongside so there was a train one of these bad lads but we just missed it unfortunately now you must have appeared from a depot there we go there's the other one heading back yeah you appear from here apparently how is this yeah yeah 26 mail it's okay the two trains that are running on it on there are fine so buy vehicles. Let's go steam down in the bottom. So we've got two variants. I thought we had uh, one of them will be reversed. So uh, the Queen Empress and an ice and the Great Britain. 80 miles per hour. A huge divided drive engine developed by the CME of the London North Western Railways. Francis Webb. The front wheels are powered by a middle inside cylinder on the rear. These engines were outshopped in non-standard London Northwestern Railways to show off the grandeur of the locomotive. So, take a wild stab in the dark and say that they were probably used for uh, passenger services. Yes. The London Southwest Railway T3 was a class of suburban passenger locomotive built by William Adams to handle the heavy passenger and freight services into and out of the car pool. So we'll maybe get some freight running and more of these London Southwest Railways. I am expecting more. I mean, we can use absolutely any one of these trains again. I'm happy to have multiple of the same train running. The only one we didn't use previously was this, the 264 class 04 OST. I think OST is like a 0 ST, sorry, 040 ST. Called it Immortalized in the Hornby Railroad Model Smoky Joe. I mean, we could use that for freight, the little freight line up in Scotland. We will be doing that shortly. But on to the next line. I'll just take a mental note that I've had a random dodge bit of track up here that isn't is connected to nothing. Yes, random dodge bit of track is there, apparently. I'm, I'll just connect it now, because I will have to save this uh, once the drive-by episode is done. There we go. Where do you go? I think I was potentially thinking about taking this out here and hanging a right which we could do we could have a Southampton Bournemouth Weymouth Yeovil Bath Chippingham Basingstoke loop no it's a bit insane <laughs> right so on to the next line so uh, the first line I was actually going to look at was the I don't know. Ah, right. Yeah, it was this one down here. I think we've actually... There is freight down here, but the the one I was going to look for... That was the route I was actually looking for previously. 
I uh, don't know why I'm doing this. I just saw this and thought it looked horrible, so I wanted to fix it. Yes, yeah, so there is freight. That heads out this way. We did get all these running. Uh, so the Channel Coast. So Brighton, Eastbourne, Folkestone, Margate. I don't know if we did that. Now, episode 41 was the, the southern main line. That's the one we've just looked at. Uh, the next one was the 777, uh, the ones we used up in Wales. So I'll possibly jump on that. We then had the, yep, the, trans the London Brighton South Coast Railway Freight, which was this line that goes up here. But we've already jumped on the passenger line that runs this, even though it does look cool and there's a lot happening. We'll maybe skip that one because we've got a few. However, we can jump up to potentially Liverpool or Bangor. If there's train in either station, that's a negative on the Liverpool side. There's 11 people waiting, so the train has maybe left, potentially. Where did I actually set this off from? How did I get it on the line? Wait! You! Ah, your England Wales cross country train. Looking rather super duper old and beat up there. Now, there's one there, so that's a bad sign. And there's another one there, sort of halfway. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, yeah, so you're the only one in there. You should be a jumbo. You are. You are heading to Wrexham. Which means this little fella here, the 777, uh, was the Liverpool train. That's okay, we can come back to that. I do want to run on that. It's a, quite a nice line. Potentially run on both. Uh, let's go... Right, so next line after that was... A freight line? Cross channel, okay, let's just jump over to France, because we've got some new trains running along here, and because this runs in a loop, it doesn't actually matter where we started from. So, the PLM, let's go. This actually makes money now. There we have those archway bridges and stuff that look really cool. We have some cross-channel goods now, which was basically the... I wanted to get those up and running. Mainly to supply the, like, the south coast of England so I could so it gave me a sort of excuse to add some freight trains uh, onto the London Brighton South Coast Railway now this does look very very odd I'm amazed that it's managing to stand like that without no supporting pillar in the middle really uh, we can crank this up to two times speed the PLM Apparently had like a top speed of something like 60-70 miles per hour, but the standard version in-game here does not, for some reason. So, Bethune, what it picks up, how many? I would say it might get a full load. Yeah, it does. That's good. Right, head off on the way. Now, this bridge looks pretty cool as well. Again, no supporting uh, legs, trusses, no, I can't remember what they're called, in the middle, which is odd. Now there is a, this is the, the forward facing train. It's actually going anti-clockwise, so it should be the, like the reverse, but hey ho, it's on its way anyway. So up the hill it goes, there is more, a lot more freight done in France. We start to get some goods going, we will get goods produced 
over in the UK and ship them over to supply the towns here. Yeah, uphill, 37 miles an hour. This train is making short work of, of this hill. It's like it's totally unfazed at all. Although it's not really pulling wagons that are specifically difficult for it to haul. There we go. It's actually hauling British wagons. Sweet. <laughs> I did check the Steam Workshop for some SNCF stuff and some other French trains. There are a lot of diesels and electrics later on. There ain't much in the way of steam. I think like the first steam train is like a, a train that was used after the war for hauling a lot of post-war goods around France. But I have downloaded it so we will use it when the time comes. There we go. Crazy junction there. Freight train heading down on the right hand side. And there's a very, very strange app because the passenger track is heading down and it looks kind of kinked. No, no, it's okay. Once you get up close. Oh, it's definitely kinked. That was so bad. But yep, heading round into Dunkirk. I think there's a freight train that comes up to Dunkirk and drops off corn mats, potentially. But yep, the first intercities I had on here did poorly on the loop. These ones seem to be better. Much better. So yep, we're getting... Ooh, one more person. <gasps> one more person when I made that a full load. Before we go on to... We shall see. Yeah, we'll see before we go. Or before I do the next episode, I'll have a look around the map, look at some commuter lines, maybe some freight lines, and see where they're being poorly optimized. Manchester is a point, uh, is a great case because the original commuter line is just that. It is the original commuter line. It doesn't cover like half the city now because the city is growing so much. And I am super hoping that bus lanes become available soon. Now I don't know when bus lanes are conceived. I faintly remember I think bus lanes were conceived during the time I was alive in the UK anyway but I am hoping to get them soon to relieve some of the stress that our passenger and freight vehicles are currently facing especially in towns like Birmingham and Manchester where uh, the traffic is quite horrific right here we go into Cali now, I think the next stop is Boulogne sur Mer. And then after that's Bethune. So we'll jump on to something else after that. Hopefully, that 777 or the Jumbo on the Bangor, Wrexham, and Liverpool lines are sort of done. Oh, save, damn you. I need to switch that off. It's too late now. Started the episode. I will make a note for the next time though because there is a crap ton of stuff for us to save now we may get some new buses as well actually I think we do I think we get two buses in sort of quick succession one is like a double decker bus one is like a sort of smaller uh, single deck bus but yep no no truck the Cannstatt does not go out of service till about 1912. So we'll have... Whoa. Now the problem is with it going out in 1912, <coughs> even if I fast forward 
I mean, even if I go... Yeah, in the next Bark to the Bark to the Future drive-by, which will take us to 1900 to 1910, I still will not have unlocked a new truck. So that means it's like 20 episodes, because we're going to try and do 10 for each decade. Basically like one episode per year. So... I think I'm going to have to come up with a plan to sort of bypass. But here where it belongs to our Mercer. This is basically where the train, where we jumped on board. We are into 1893 of June. It looks like there were no new vehicles, which is totally fine. We shall just check, just to make sure. Yep, our London South Western Railways. No electrics, no diesels. Passengers, negative. Cargo, negative. The Great Western Railway's V6 Goods Van Early was the first, it was the last thing we unlocked for Goods. Now, I'm actually going to check our road depot. Now, so we are negative Landauer and Canstadt. I would highly doubt that there are ships Frontenac, Zero Ostar, the Denara Castle and Steamship Ferry are our go-to ships. And the Zero Ostar for uh, liquid bulk transfer. Alright, let's head back. Alright, come on. Trains, don't let me down. Nothing in here. Okay. Strike one. <sighs> Who are you? Ah, uh, you're London and Man Liverpool Manchester Railway. Right, I see you there. You're the you're the beef though. You're the one that hauls the beef. But there's no train here. That's bad. Really bad. Ah, there's one there. You are Rex and Banger. Which means there's probably one in here. Nope. Which means there's probably one... Nah, it's too small. Can't be. And we were correct. So where is it? Because if it's almost there... It is almost there. There we go. Right, jump on board. With this. Uh, because it is a nice route. Oh wait, you're going to get held up. The London and North Western Railway. Love it. Great. <coughs> Love our different trains rolling on here. So we are still actually playing through, which is fine. <coughs> now we'll have a quick look. So we're jumping on board with the 777. This is the 777 locomotive. Alright, so we've got the London Southwest main line. We've got the new lines we did up in Scotland. And we've got the Silver Line and the Smoky Jewel Line that we could potentially jump onto. Let's jump on board with you. Let's double speed that. super duper amount of people want to go to Wrexham or no that could be people that want to go to Manchester right so off we go there is a steel train up at the left hand side we hang a little right here we go up this hill which does actually look super steep uh, there is also a weird issue with that bridge, where the bridge is actually floating. Okay, that's uncool. We'll see. Now, I can't remember the top speed of this train. I think it's something like 60 or something. And it's going to have to slow down for this junction. It's not being held up though, so that's good. 
off we pop. Hung a right. There we go. Now I'm not sure where the jumbo is. There's a train up there on the left. That's uh, England Wales intercity. I mean, I should name it the LNWR West Coast main line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll rename that. Because the England Wales intercity is a, a stupid, stupid name for an intercity. We'll call it the West Coast main line. Even though it doesn't go around the West Coast. Lots of ships out at sea there. That's cool. Steamship ferries, zero Ostas, Denara castles. Now, 50 miles per hour must be the top speed of this. Either that is the top speed of the local, or it could potentially be... Yeah, yeah, it's going faster. Good, good, good. I think the jumbo does about 70 miles per hour. Now, our new trains that we've unlocked so far... The Great Britain and the Queen Elizabeth, is it? They do a. So we'll have to find them a nice fitting route. There we go. Are you going to cross here? It is slowing down. And signal goes up. Ah, oh, sweet. Look at the timing on that. <coughs> now the race is on. Hello everybody and welcome to Transport Fever at the races. Today we are watching a 777 London North Western Railways steam locomotive carrying a consist of passenger cars try to pass a DX Goods London North Western Railways. I think it's a DX Goods, I'm pretty sure it is. See, that might have been a nice route as well, because it heads up the valley. And, if this train comes into the station, and that one is still there, we'll jump on board with it. There it is, there it is, nice. Now, we won't see this train heading back. There we go, nice little route. There's a steamship ferry in the background. We've got some new stuff though. The HR I Class Jones Goods Reversed. The HR. What is HRI? What is HR? Highland Railway. Damn. How did I not know that? Yep, the Highland Railway in Scotland. Cool. Right, let's jump on board with you. Oh, 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 oh. Is that even playing? No, because you're not... You, wait, it is playing. You are waiting for meat. Of which there was none. Yep, there's not a lot of meat there. Unfortunately. A lower banger. I just want to check this actually. So these guys are responsible for taking mail and meat. That could be a mistake. It doesn't look like it though. It, it just looks like there's no meat train arrived. Unfortunately, now if push play, we're supposed to be jumping on with that other train. But I want to check this. Yeah, there's 230 meat there. You are cabs. You're waiting for a free path. Well, that is interesting. I'm actually going to play this. Because this one is loaded up and ready to go. But it's stuck behind this one. 
Is this train really that slow? It is a steep upgrade. A steep grade, not upgrade. Or it is an upgrade. Yeah, these ones are just going super slow. This one's doing 37, which ain't that bad. I think we just need more. Right. What do we want to jump on with this time? Ooh, is that the jumbo? It is. Let's jump on with you then. Uh, I thought I selected the train. Looks like it selected the station. Still making money this train. Now this one is slightly faster. Nice route again. So wave goodbye to bang our slight bit of rust on her. But she's okay. And let's speed that up. Two times speed. I did not actually notice which year we were into. 1892, 1894, maybe. Because I will have to stop once we get to uh, the 1900s. Yeah, there's the freight train heading back, so. It's bringing mail, but there's just no, there's no beef. No beef being delivered, unfortunately. <coughs> there is tons of beef waiting, but the trains are just super slow, we'll say. If better goods trains become available, we shall upgrade them. Now, you go straight on. It is just the goods trains that hung her right up the valley there. Ah, and they go into a tunnel anyway, so we're not missing much there, even though we're going into a tunnel here. It's just a nice view along the coast. Now this one will hang a right and go up to Wrexham. So we actually see the newspaper factory there. And it's down to 30 miles per hour, so that's quite a slow corner that. Floating signal there, sweet. Now there's a signal, but I think you move over to the left. Yeah, you do. But now it should have free roam. It should have a decent run of speed to get over this bridge and that. I'm actually just gonna Google quickly. The London North West Railway Great Britain. The Great Britain class. Yep, designed by F. Webbs at the Crew Works. Where did you go though? That's what we really want to sort of find out. Design for express passenger. Yep, indeed. Indeedy. Uh, operators, London and North Western Railway. Scrapped March 1906. Really? So we're going to be... Ah, no, 1906 is fine. History. Yeah, let's have a look. October, crew works, three cylinders, John Hicks, blah blah blah, fleet references. Where did they operate though? Right, we're in the Wrexham though. Yeah, it doesn't actually give you their route. It just says they were operated by the London North Western Railway. Which we already knew. Right, we've got some London Brighton South Coast Railway trains as well, which is nice. So we've seen the Jumbo, we've seen the Triple Seven. Uh, what year are we in? 1895. 1895 is fine. Now let's head up to Scotland. We've got a few nice routes. We've got Fort William route. And Fort William train has just arrived. We're running Borsigs here in blue, even though 
I like it. They're actually running fine as well. 503 quid. Money well spent. Ooh, we're on the wrong train. Uh oh. Hello? You. Yep. Right, so off we pop again on the Glasgow Fort William. Down this bridge here. Now, there are a lot of mountains in this area. But the train doesn't look like this. I still can't remember if the train actually goes from Fort William. Yeah, it does. It goes from Fort William and heads down this way. I don't think it goes from Fort William back to Inverness. I think it's just a road from there. There is a line to the right that heads up to Oban. Now, this is a decently fast train as well. Now, we've got those Highland Railway trains that we can potentially use. So, I think we'll swap out the Borsig that is currently running on those at that northeast railway line. We can swap that out. And the line that goes Inverness, Aviemore, Perth, Stirling, Glasgow. We shall change that out as well because they are just running standard 060 uh, Caledonian Railways. But they're. I think I know where to put them, so we're all good. We will have to get our little shunter engine running as well. People are actually using this highway. <coughs> Now we are progressing through the years, so are we going to see our first motorised vehicles? Which I would personally love, because we have Landauers, we have Karnstadt, but the AI are still using, the AI, Ma and Pa, are still rolling about in their horse and carts. And it's uh, slowing up our roads. That's why I'm, I'm desperately waiting for the bus lane to appear. Now I'm not going to put like the bus lane on motorways and stuff. Because trucks and buses just use the slow lane in the motorway. Unless they come across a slower bus or a slower truck or a tractor or something. So... But they will have them in the major cities. So we should be actually be quite near Glasgow. Yes, there it is there. Now we'll have to get some goods up running in Scotland. We've got none so far till passenger lines. And I would say passenger lines is going to come to a point where we're just probably manipulating some of the routes. Uh, changing the stops up and just upgrading the trains the passenger lines and stuff will probably stay the same now there is no electrification north of Glasgow and Edinburgh in Scotland so we will have to run diesels which is fine there we go we're into August of 1895 now I want to head to Inverness or Wick. Right, you're not there. You're not on the super duper cool bridge. You are there. Okay, let's jump on something else. Now, I'm tempted to jump on a freight train on that London Brighton South Coast Railway because there are a lot of them. I mean... We did jump on this line previously and went down in the last one. I know. London Southwest Railway. Do we have a train and station? <laughs> yep. Yeah, very expensive, these trains. They ain't doing so well. I'm not really that bothered about that, though. We do actually have a new one to run. 
There's a light London Brighton South Coast train right there. This train for that platform. Don't know where it goes. Oh, it made money. Okay, that's interesting. Decently fast train as well. This one. Uh, nice consist. <coughs> Very cool indeed. Uh, let's fall back in line here. Spin us around and off we pop. Now, are we going at two times speed? No. I think we are now. Oh yeah, right. One times speed, two times speed. There we go. Right, so I don't know if anything utilizes that. There is no weirdness. Hop. Does that line go anywhere? Apparently it does. But even though it looks absolutely terrible, it's in a tunnel. So no one can see it. Out of sight, out of mind. Perfect. Right, so decent speed for this. <coughs> it should be Basingstoke. Somewhere, somewhere, XR. There we go. There is also the other London South Western Railways in our city that I've made. And we'll use the other one to go from XR and head out further west, out to Penzance. And if there's any other London Northwest Railways <coughs> trains, I would like them to go. Those new London Northwest Railway trains, I would like them to actually go into London and we could just have a collection of the greatest hits of steam from each different railway. London Southwest Railway, London Brighton South Coast Railway, London Northwest Railway. Nothing for the east, like northeast at the moment. Or actually nothing from east, but hey ho. So, we will have to head over Ireland as well. I've been neglecting Ireland. We have the generic British trains that we can run on there. They're kind of cool. But we'll get some freight and stuff rolling as well. I'll definitely get mail up and rolling in Ireland. And I'll maybe do like a Dublin Belfast like super train. That would be interesting. Now, there are four of these London South West Railways suckers on here. I mean, if the new ones we've got do the same speed, we could have a mix. If they're faster, I'll move these ones onto the new Penzance line once it's made. And then we'll put the newer ones on. But these are, very, these are great models. Love the carriages as well. They are awesome. Alright, so here we go into Basingstoke. There's a cactus and a palm tree. Another palm tree. Another palm tree. Basingstoke is famous for its palm trees. So I've heard Right, so people get off, and more people go on. 57 is okay. Again, this line is still fairly new. So, it is going to take time to sort of bed in. Right, now, you are a decently fast train. And you now have a decently long section of smooth flowing track to get your speed up. I think top speed is 70 on this one. Was it 72 or 78? We are about to find out. Anywho. Right, we're up to 28 so it's not breaking any massive speed record at the moment. That's okay. I will have to remember that we were in 1895 though. Surely this train won't take five years 
to reach the other side. Alright? Nah, we're good. Although we can't even see Yeovil yet, although it is behind that hill. <coughs> so I'm only doing 36. I feel sort of let down. Okay, now it's doing 37. 38. There we go. She's picking up speed now. She is going downhill slightly. But then she is going to have to go uphill as well. 44, 45. It is hauling quite a large consist also. We must not forget that. Seven or eight of those larger uh, cottages. Uh, here we go. Oh, yep, she's dropping speed going up the hill there. Uh oh. So I dare say it would probably be faster heading from west to east. Heading from Yeovil towards Basingstoke. It would probably be quicker. I mean, certainly already, that one that just passed on the left there looked to be going faster. I could be entirely wrong, but it did look quicker. <coughs> I mean, we're still dropping speed. So we may still be going uphill. Once she pops over a 41... We'll know. There we go. But then there's a hill again. <laughs> Is there a hill? Ooh. I like this bridge. That's nice. Right, so Yeovil should actually be hung a left and just round the corner there. We may see the other London South West Railway train on there. We may not. Yeah, it seems to be sitting around the 41, 42, 40 mile per hour mark. However, once it exits Yeovil, it will be going downhill. And then it doesn't have to go uphill again. So after Yeovil, it's time to shine will arrive. <laughs> Right, rocking in here, no sign. Yeah, there's the other train. That's a London South Western Railways train as well. It's just slightly, slightly smaller. Nice. There is a genuine crap ton of people waiting to go on that one. Now this train here bypasses whatever station that is on the right hand side. There we go. Look at this train over here desperately struggling to get up the hill. We are pretty much on top of a mountain here. There we go. Look how fast it's picking up speed now. Uh, what? Where did you come from? Hello? That's interesting. Ooh, autosave. I thought the game had crashed there. <laughs> yeah, so that's nice. We got to see the other train rolling past. 
lots of greens on British Railways. So, Great Northern Railway, lots of green trains. Uh, London Brighton South Coast Railway, green trains. London Southwest Railway, green trains. Highland Railway, green. London Northwest Railway is mainly black. And the Midland Railway is mostly red, so that's nice. Caledonian Railway in blue. Yeah, we're up to 54. 55. Ah, oh, yes, this is nice. Now we get to open up the taps. Right, let's take a wild stab and try and figure out where that place is. No idea. <laughs> I was trying to read the signs and the platforms, but... Need to get the, the binoculars out. Right, so we're heading to Exeter for the end of the line. I mean, the main line will continue. It will just be serviced by a different train. Uh, we'll have to check the stats on that other London Southwest Railway. I did look at it to see what it did. Freight, a mix of freight and passengers. But I, I couldn't remember what the speed was. Right, so you're going uphill slightly there. round the corner and into XR. Right, we should have progressed one or two years there. I'm gonna say three actually. Right, in she goes. I did want to jump on Smokey Joe as well because he passes lively Polly and various other things. Right, 54 into the station, into Exeter station. Right, we've got some new stuff. The, whoa, the Dunall, the Dunall, the Dunallister. The Class A and the Spinner. Right, so they're definitely getting, steam trains are getting larger and they're getting faster. Board. Right, so one and two. So a decently fast train this, uh, which is nice. And then we do have our other Caledonian railway train to run as well. Our new one. We might actually get another one before the 1900s, who knows. There we go, passing there. Right, 50 miles per hour. Top speed? No, she's still going. I love these trees. These by far are definitely my favourite trees of a uh, transport fever. Now this line is a bit up and down. I may adjust that at some point. <coughs> but we will be heading, hang on a left here. And then heading down towards the bridge, which is nice. I like the bridge. The bridge is nice. Right, not much happening up here. Up in the north. Lots of nice, lovely mountain scenery in the background. No other train though, because I've noticed the express lines are a hit or a miss. So each express line is only going to have one train. Only the inner cities with their multiple stops will get multiple trains. I mean, later. Once we've entirely figured out exactly which trains need more trains added on, we will do so, but some of them will not need, in fact some of them will probably, probably need removed, because no one uses them. But right now we'll just sort of play along and utilize as much trains as possible. 
Now even though this is a megalomaniac size map, it still feels really small and cramped, unfortunately. We need ridiculously huge maps. That would be awesome. Lots of space to build stuff. The only problem is the game has a hard time existing or playing <coughs> even at this so there are a lot of there's a lot of like on stuff on reddit and steam about transport fever uh, sort of game utilization and it's some of it is you feel bad, you get a lot of people that say, oh, I've just bought this system and built the system. Is it okay for playing Transport Fever? And you get those people who comment that are brutally honest and just go, well, no. <laughs> Maybe a small map with two towns in it or something. And then you get the people that say, ooh, I have this and this and this, and I can run late game Megalomaniac with a million trains. And it's just complete utter nonsense. It's just total lies. Uh, one of my friends has a very, very, very expensive uh, desktop computer. With probably the best, in fact, it has the best stuff that money can buy and it does not run transport fever well on if I, on a map this size if you were to use every industry every town it would still be catastrophically bad so i have no hope uh that it will mines will have a massive demise it's actually starting to go down already. The game is starting to degrade very quickly with just the stuff we're running and we're nowhere near finished. But hey -ho, we will persevere. Uh, so we're in 1898. We did get a new train right there. It was, if I can find a depot, depot, a Great Northern Railways train. An Atlantic, nice. 442 Atlantic, sweet. Oh, I think we're possibly going to see an influx of 442s in the next two years. Right, let's jump on board with something else though. So the suspension bridge there, very nice, love it. Great mod, even though Urban Games just themselves added. Uh, suspension bridges into the game. I like that. Well done to the bloke that invented the. Uh, came up with that. It's a great little addition. Uh, there was the line from Oban. It's a bit boring though. I want to see if Smoketh Jewel is over here. Now you're a stone train, right? Ah, you are a silver train. Or you're a steel train. But you head in uh, quite a nice little route. So we'll follow this train. Now we can use that new Great Northern Railways train and we're going to use it to go from Carlisle, which we just passed through right now, over to Newcastle because it's a nice run. The train should get up to a decent amount of speed, etc, etc. It's going to be awesome. Obviously not as it passes that junction previous because it's a horrible junction and the train has to slow down terribly. Yeah, this will be nice. I mean, we'll give the passenger train its own set of trucks. Therefore, it's not hindered by this uh, steel train right here. <coughs> Which is fairly new in itself, but does seem to be struggling to get full load. I'll probably need to add more road vehicles at the Newcastle Steel Mill side in order for this to get a full load. But 
but yeah, it will work nicely at some point. So this is a double headed one as well. Now, I always said that I wasn't going to move the camera, but I want to look at this. There we go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Pop back here. Nothing much to see, unfortunately. I really did want to jump on that Midlands Railway train. But I know where to use the next Midlands Railway train as well. We'll have that go across from Leicester to like Hull or something. That'll be nice. Right, so 50 miles per hour, probably top speed of wagon or top speed of train. Could be both. But yep, this ain't flat either, so it's like an up, down. Ah, it's okay. Right, so it should head over here. And then sort of head down and round. It should pass one or two industries on the way. I am going to redo this bit. Because that section there could just be flat right across there until it joins on to this section just past here. <coughs> it doesn't need that lump. There we go. Heading for Newcastle Exchange. Newcastle, I think, is on the left there. This will be nice. This will be nice once we've got some new trains rolling back and forth. Once the line becomes a lot more busier and we see all the different trains, it's going to be good. 50 miles per hour. Are you the only train that runs on here? I think you are. Looks like we did not find any need for a second one at the moment. Yeah, there's the station there. Right? Yeah, yeah. Is there steel waiting? There is. There is actually steel waiting, which is good. Cross over to that side. 84, mm, doesn't look like 84. Yeah, so I would say, we should escape. Right, we're into, still in 1898. How much is there? 68, right. Uh, coal mine, silver mine. High-ho silver. Wait a second. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh my god, 613. Manage vehicles. Select all, duplicate them. Long time to duplicate those vehicles. Select all again, just set their maintenance for high. So they'll roll out, so we're absolutely going to need more coal. We passed in a new year though. Nice. The Caledonian Railway Class 812060. The Caledonian Railway Class 812060 black. And, oh, you disappeared. Okay. Uh, this needs a stern upgrade also. Manage vehicles. Select all. Replace. A wee bit of loading time there. January 5th. Set maintenance to high and apply. Off we go. Right. So that'll be better. That is now heading back. Should have maybe have set that to wait for a full load. But with those added trucks, it definitely will have a full load. Let's find the depot. There's one right there. Sweet. <coughs> so the London Brighton Class 440. Did 60 miles per hour. 
The B2 engines proved underwhelming and able. So that's the B2. That we already know apparently was not that good. <laughs> Unable to replace the older D2 on the London Heaviest Express trains. He essentially upscaled the locomotive to produce a larger and more powerful version, the B4, which was considered one of the finest passenger locomotives of their day. So he redeemed himself. Nice. The Atlantic we've looked at. Uh, the Atlantics were the mainstay of East Coast passenger. Sweet. Right, Caledonian Railways. Caledonia went 2 and 652 classes, World 060 steam tender locomotives, designed by John F. McIntosh for the Caledonian Railway and introduced in 1819. So we've got the 812, 55 miles per hour, it's kind of slow. That's kind of slow. We are going to use them though. Northwestern Railway? That's cool. Yeah, I like that. NWR. Uh, NWR Black. Hmm. What does that mean? 812. Hold on. 060. BR Black. Uh, 812 designed. Part of the Scottish region of British Railways. Ah, right. Gives you different information. <coughs> the 812 and 652 classes. Right. Interesting. Locomotives of the 812 to Sodor. Sodor, is that not like Tom Satank, the Isle of Sodor? I am so confused right now. <laughs> right, the Class 4 B4 was a passenger engine and the Greyhound, an extremely fast 440 built by the London South Western Railways for express services. These were some of the nippiest 440s ever built and earned the nickname Greyhounds. That's pretty cool, actually. No other vehicles? I think we got a ship, the Klondike. Uh, not really interested in the Klondike. We are going to keep the Dinara Castle. Right, we're going to three times speed it. And buy vehicles. Yeah, the Klondike. So even though it's got 110, I prefer these actual ships. These are like Great Lakes or ships. Yeah. See, Cayuga Lake. Yeah, this is the North Sea. That ship would be literally destroyed probably within a day if it set sail in the North Sea. But yep, we are looking good. So we'll keep going. I was going to jump on a train. Let's check on that red train. Uh, it's bogged down in traffic. I wanted to jump on it for the sole fact that it did actually go through traffic. Now, no one wants to go from Kendall to London. Apparently they do. There is 25 wants to go to Manchester. So why did you not pick anyone up, you weirdo? There we go, 22,000. But you're going to pick up a full load now of 67. Yeah, the rest is fine. Right. There we go. Let's actually check the roads. Tram truck, electric, yes, yep. No no paved roads or anything yet. We might get them in 1890. Let's go to Kendall and see if we can find... Right, that's the freight hub. <coughs> Let's see if we can uh, find this. Where are you? Ah, you're there. Nice, and you're not actually stuck in traffic, which is odd. There we go, that's nice. That's what we wanted to see. This guy 
tear and round at a decent speed. Because it's got a nice route as well. But we're almost there. October. November. December. Now, what are we expecting in the 1900s? Who knows? As you can see, though, this is three times speed. And it's not doing... It is stuttering a wee bit. But it's nowhere near as bad as it was before. Before it was... Man, it was rough. <coughs> but this actually looks pretty good. I'm astonished that in one patch they managed to do so well. So, I mean, even though the game has its problems, the dev team do actually listen to what people say and try and fix stuff. Which is good. Unlike the the Activision dudes that made, or dudettes that made Warzone, because I still, the Warzone audio, audio is absolutely terrible. <laughs> right, so this was a sweet little route as well. December 10th, and we've got a lot of new trains to use. Some of them are pretty fast, we may actually replace some existing trains with faster, longer trains. December 25th, Christmas Day has passed. 30th, 31st, boom! New stuff. Right, we got, ooh, lots of new stuff. I think it's mostly, ah, we've got goods wagons though. Okay, 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 there was a Oh, look, Lively Polly has delivered all her stuff. You were waiting for a free path. That's cool. We could probably delete one of the Lively Pollies. Right, let's go to a depot. Right, so a new steam train, the A35. Uh, yeah, this is for the locomotive of the Jura Simplin of the Gotthard Railway. Yeah, we don't have the Gotthard Railway. That's the Alps, is it? Switzerland? Yeah, so we don't have that. However, fear not, it's a 62 mile an hour train that will work perfectly over here. Now we are running, there we go, these simple numbers, which are working totally fine, but yeah, we'll get an A35 that goes from Belfast, past Dundalk, to Dublin. A delightfully fast train. Right, that's going to be sweet. So we will find use for the A35. We won't use it over in France. We're using the Prussians and the PLM. The PLM is actually a French local, I think. So yeah, we're good. We'll get yeah, yeah Leicester train station, which has one, two, three, four, but has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven platforms, which is sweet. Oh, the crap on a stick. Yeah, we're going to need to add more freight to this. <laughs> right. But yeah, we can use the Midlands Railway train and head up here to Hull, possibly. Uh, might actually take it down to Peterborough. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, we'll get a Great Northern Railways. I think we'll maybe start in Norwich. Go up to Hull. And then possibly around here in Newcastle. Get one of those Atlantics on there. 
That'll be cool. So there's lots to do. I need to find a depot. Uh, what was the other stuff that we got? So no electrics, no diesels. Passengers. Yes, we did get some new passengers. The Grizzly Teak Coach, which is pretty cool. <coughs> I think that's actually the coach they used. British Bogey Late. I mean, we've not even used many of the earlys. <coughs> some of this stuff is still on the go until like 1923. 1935, yeah, we can use these as much as these as we want. Compartment car. Yeah, car body, but we don't have the car body, which is odd. <laughs> I mean, you could probably throw a six-wheeler on and then throw that on the back. No one just 37, though. That's a hopeless. <laughs> right, cargo. We've got new cargo. Box car. See, I would, again, add that at the end of a consist. We may do so. Oh man, we didn't even get to use the Great Western Railway's early boxcar. But I know a way to get it back. Tank car, looking good. Yeah, yeah, right, so we've got all that stuff. I mean, this looks great, this gondola, but... I think... We'll stick with this. See, that does 60. Generic British goods van. Yeah, let's have a look at you. You do 35, you're slightly slower. But they do 60 as well. So this seems to me like more European. I mean, even though these kind of suck. Probably better than that. See, early coaches of this type were still produced without brakes. It was not until the, the later series that air brakes were introduced throughout the country. Which country? What? Who? What? Who? <laughs> Where? Now we should start to get, I mean, 1886 Great Western Railways. There were literally tons of Great Western Railways trains for Transport Fever 1. But we've not had a one yet. I'm sure we will though. But we shall leave it there for that episode. We are actually currently still playing. So I need to pause that in fact. Get you back down to zero. And yeah, the drive-by is over. We're now in 1900. It's time to start a new decade. And I need to find a train to jump on with. We didn't give that red train the love it deserved. Where is it? Oh. You. Kendall. Passenger. In a tunnel. Guaranteed. No, well, it's fine, actually. What are the... Ah, you're waiting for that to move oh, that's totally fine but yep we shall leave it there for that episode as always if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like comment or dislike please feel free to do so and if there is more you would like to see in the future then hit a subscribe button i've been danny boy this has been transport fever 2 on the uk map and i will catch us later